Hello everyone, my name is Katrina Good. I'm the leader of the Cape Nora Australia team who has been partnering with Nununa Presbyterian Church this week. I'll be sharing a bit of my story today. I grew up in Tennessee, a part of the Smoky Mountains, the Appalachian Mountains, and I grew up in a Christian home with four older siblings and my two loving parents. I'm very thankful for the opportunity of being raised in a Christian home because at a young age when my parents explained to me the gospel of what Jesus has done for me on the cross and the offer of salvation for all who believe, I really did believe it and I truly put my faith and trust in him. I had such a love for the Lord and that hasn't ever stopped. But in that time, I grew to understand just what I received in those moments. When I was at the age of 13, I found out that my mom was diagnosed with melanoma skin cancer. That was really hard for a 13 year old to find out because I thought, surely I have a perfect Christian family. God wouldn't allow this to happen. And I really questioned in that time, what are God's purposes? Is he good? But over the course of two years, when my mom battled with um, melanoma, skin cancer, and, and then it spread even more, she lost the battle and she passed away when I was 15. And at that time in my life, I thought, no way this has ever could happen to me. And I remember the moment I was finally alone and I was just crying out to God. And I said, wait, God, I thought that you will help us with this and protect us. I thought their ways are good. And so this was the time that I really cried out to him and I, I sought his, his strength and his peace and everything. And I said, God, I can't live this life. I don't know how to face tomorrow being a girl who's motherless. And so in this moment when I said, I can't do this, I also then finished it by saying, but your will be done, but you can do this. And you're gonna have to show me, you're gonna have to show me your purposes and how you're gonna use this in my life. Well, that was a bold prayer. And it's amazing because after that, God did amazing things. I have a peace that surpasses all understanding, the strength that was incomprehensible, even still to this day, I can't believe how, how he's covered me and how he's protected my mind and my heart. But in those times when I prayed to him, I was centering Christ in my life. I had all the fullness of him when I received him when I was young, then it was that, that time of discovering what exactly I have within me. Well, I, um, I gave my life to him in ministry at 15, and I said, okay, wherever you want to take me. So I worked at an orphanage in Jamaica. Um, then I went and I got my degree in social work. And I also, in that time, went to Bible school. And at Bible school, I just was wrecked even more by the gospel to know that he not only died on the cross for my sins and taking everything upon him, but also he rose again to give me his own life. And so that life that I had within, that peace that I felt, that strength that I felt, it was his very own life. And I found out even more, I don't have to live the Christian life. I can't live the Christian life. Only he can and only he will through me. So that's what I experienced when I exchanged my life for his. And so my verse, my favorite verse is Philippians 1, I love to proclaim this over my life. It says, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. And now, um, as I'm the ministries coordinator at Cape and Ray now, and God has called me to come to Australia to minister on his behalf, I never lose sight of that. In every single thing, I know that I can't, but he can. He's a great and mighty God. In my weaknesses, he is my strength. He is my everything because he is my very life. So thank you so much for allowing me to share today. Hey guys, um, it's me, Thomas, here from the team who's come down from Cape and Ray Bible School. Um, yeah, we're a team here for the week, um, partnering up with the church and yeah, helping out in the ministry. And yeah, yeah. Today I'm going to share a bit of my story and my walk with the Lord. And yeah, so growing up, I I grew up in a Christian family, and uh, like my dad's been a pastor my whole life um, in Adelaide. And um, it's interesting, like I faith was never really. Like, I, I don't really remember a point where I was like, I truly believe, and I think it was just part of my life, and I did not believe it, but I didn't really, like, I don't know, it was very mixed, and, and yeah, and by the time I got to about te teenage years, I had a, quite a few issues, and I just got in some bad places, and, um, and just my wrestle with, like, life, and, and, I, and was just in general, um, I just caused a lot of issues, and, and um, that really paid a, paid a toll in like my relationship with God and my belief in Him, and 
and um, and yeah, that just was really really bad, and um, like a lot of it was due to having a lot of issues with my dad as a teenager, and um, and it just caused me to rebellion, I guess, a lot from what Christianity was, and and yeah, and then it didn't take me till I was about eighteen um, to really realize my need for for Christ for myself, and yeah, it took me a few years of really going my own way to realize my need for Him, and so by the time I was eighteen, I just had some bad experiences and realized uh, realizing what life is without Christ and and I realized my need for Christ in my life and um, yeah so by the time I was 18 I, I I said that's it and I wanted I want Jesus to be in my life and I want to own him for myself and and yeah I I started to yeah change my life and I and I really gave it to him um, and and yeah, just things changed, and I, I started reading the Bible for the first time in my life, and and just God was so new to me in my own personal way, and um, and it just changed. And probably the last few years, yeah, I don't, I don't really consider myself to be much of a Christian beforehand because I didn't know who Jesus was, um, the way I know who he is now, and and yeah, so um, yeah, as a teen, uh, was a young a young bloke these last few years. I've um, always wanted to go to Cape and Ray, and I just knew that this was a school of I was a Bible school, and I was just desired to know more about God for myself. And and yeah, so luckily by the end of my apprenticeship, yeah, I had enough money saved up, and um, yeah, decided to take a bit of time off in my life to go to Cape and Ray, and yeah, spend spend some quality time there. And um, and yeah, that's what I've done this year. And um, yeah, I've just grown to a deeper realization of. You know, his word and who he's in my life and yeah but yeah that's a bit of my story guys um yeah hopefully you have a good day